women. Right, as it is the season to be jolly, Conservative leader David Cameron has been doing his bet to spread some seasonal joy. Writing in the Mail on Sunday yesterday, he's been pointing out all the reasons we have to be cheerful as 2009 comes to an end. These include the promise of growth in our economy next year and the fact that he thinks England has a strong chance of winning next year's World Cup. So, is David Cameron right? Is it important at this time of year that we all take stock and count our blessings? Well, you know, with the boiler going, I know it sounds a bit cheesy this, but with the boiler going off and remembering um, how it used to be, I think, okay, everybody's having quite a bad year this year. I, I mean, a lot of people out there are really suffering. But I, my only personal thing is, try not to think what we've had. Think what we have. Because you look around you, and we, we have got a roof over our head, just for some people, I know. But we have got heating, and we have got food in our bellies. And, you know, we've got, we've got a great country. If only we could really think about what we have. We, we must appreciate what we've got, you know, because we've got an NHS system. If any of us are ill, we can get into a hospital straight away. Up to a point. Up to a point. No, but you can, <laughs> Karen. No, you can. You can. You're if right, anybody is seriously ill in this country, free we've got health free care, yeah. medical help. We've got, you know, loved ones around us, and we should be very grateful for what we have. So, yes, I am feeling very grateful at the minute for where my life is. Well, you've all... I mean, this is, um, this is a really key moment in your life as well, Jane. I mean, you've, mm. you've moved in with Ed. You've moved, you've moved your mother out. I know. <laughs> You're out in the snow. snow. <laughs> Honestly. You're I finally know. living like a grown-up. I know. It's hard work, though. I didn't realise just how it's much... It's exhausting. <laughs> it's exhausting. We don't eat till Do you know what? Night. She came into work this morning. We all said, Oh, you've dropped some weight. She's been doing housework for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> she, nobody, nobody cooks anymore. Mum's gone. I know. Well, that's it. You know, I, I go to the fridge and I open no it food. and there's nothing in there. <laughs> no shopping, no cooking. I know. I think, I think you're right. You know, I think there are lots of things that we should count our blessings every day for. You know, mm. I've got somewhere to live, got a great job, got a lovely boyfriend, Mark. You know, I'm healthy as far as I know. All of those things. And, you know, I don't take them for granted, not ever. But at the moment, you know, you say this country is great. I, I don't think it is particularly great at the moment. I think, and I really do worry, I do worry about the, the national debt. I do worry about the trouble that the country is in. And, and the problem is, the reason that I do get a little bit depressed about it is because I can't see any hope. You know, I do, whatever David Cameron says, Gordon Brown, any of them, I can't see any of them being strong enough and, and having the will to actually get us out of the mess. And that's what depresses me. I, and I, I, it does. You know, I'm trying to be Christmassy and happy and everything but else. But you can't personally save the world, Carol. I don't want to save the world, and I'm not going to, but that's what their job is. And nobody, nobody is saying anything to me to convince me at the moment that they have got the answer to all of our problems. There is no answer. We are all going to have to pay that debt back, and yet they keep borrowing and borrowing and borrowing. And I, I think it's a really, really massive problem for this country and, and for myself doesn't please I think, me. I think you're absolutely right and uh, mm. grave reservations mm. over, over how we get ourselves out of this and next year is going to be integral in terms of, of how this country moves forward. We've got a general election. And there's election. an election. Yeah, there's and, no and who there, but excuse me, you're excuse right, me, no. we've no got, one. excuse me, hello, we've, <laughs> hello. <laughs> well, the thing is, hello, we dear. get what we vote for, for a start, mm. and to be honest, for Cameron to be talking about football teams to cheer us up in the World Cup, that, that old chestnut. But that's what I'm saying, we need, I know, well, I'm saying, there's no but one we to do, vote for. no, but we need to stick together more. Let's get our, our community spirit back. And Christmas actually is a time to turn around to somebody on the street. Look at the big issue seller. I saw somebody, young, young kid serving coffee in one of the coffee shops, and he was working so hard, so I left a big tip. Because I thought, well, he can buy his mummy something and probably go and buy something else entirely. But still. <laughs> but I think, we've, instead of relying on other people all the time, we must now do it ourselves. Exactly. Never mind what they're all going to offer us, because they all basically come out the same, the politicians. Mm. Let us have faith. Let us believe in each other. Let let us be strong and then we can turn around to them and tell them... the country. Well, no, but we can choose, we can choose and we can feel better about ourselves because the, the trouble about negative talk is that it makes us all negative. I mean, I'm the worst when things are it's going realistic. well. realistic. I'm just being realistic. No, yeah, no, no, I know. Realistic, but then I'm tinging it with a little bit of hope. Which would be great, because I think for most families in Britain this year, uh, at the very best, it's been a case of treading water yeah. and yeah. keeping their heads above water. And let's hope that 2010 brings a lot more to be uh, cheerful about. But I think Carol's got a really Carol, very realistic point. Cheer up, it's Christmas. No, no, I'm happy, I'm happy, happy, happy. But I do worry. Can I worry about the face? future. Tell worry about face. the future of the country. <laughs> I can't. I'm thinking about that. Someone get the woman some mulled wine quickly. <laughs> the only thing that fixes her these days.